You have pounds, watts, and seconds to invest. Whoever can get the most out of these pounds, watts, and seconds is going to run the world. R. Buckminster Fuller. Since World War II, Western military operations have been conducted according to the most conventional industrial thinking of yesteryear. Its bureaucracies have no means of sensitive response to the changing environments of information. Only so far as it is alerted by the cash nuxes does the sensitivity of the marketplace exceed that of the military sector. McLuhan. Decades ago, Buckminster Fuller invented a car that made everything on the road obsolete. But the police wouldn't let him drive it. Its appearance was so spectacular that traffic congestion was caused as people stopped to gape. Its inherent design is still superior to conventional automobiles. So, why aren't we using it? He has also invented cities that fly. When was the last time you visited a city that flew? He also has workable ideas for using computers to solve the fundamental world problems. So why isn't the world fixed? Fuller is one of the most brilliant men who has ever lived. But take one look at him and you can see that he's just a cross-eyed freak. I'm serious, he has no credibility. His physical manifestation defeats his revolutionary thinking. This is why I emphasize metaphysical control messages and view them in a positive light. If the rhetoric is not strong, the logic is ineffectual. If the appearance is not beautiful, the reality is not actualized. If the philosophy does not contain elements of sophistry, it remains academic. Never mind that cross-eyed freak, what does the Marlboro man think? The average high school graduate has spent more time watching TV than he has spent going to school. And we wonder why he can't read. And we wonder why illusion triumphs over physical reality.